Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with my Mother's Day Arts and Crafts videos. These will make great gifts if you so choose. And they're also summer themed as well. Now, what I'm making, I've already made two of these before. When I made it, I used marker instead of paint. Because the first one I painted and... It looked okay, but it looked a little, I guess, watercolory. I didn't realize that paint was more of a watercolor than I used the first time. So the second time, I did it with marker, and I liked it a lot better. But I had different paint now, so I'm going to try it with paint. And the green, well, I just noticed my pack that I got from Amazon was supposed to be 16. There's supposed to be a shamrock green. And mine doesn't have a shamrock green, so I'm getting a whole new pack of paint. So I'm going to have a lot of paint for a while. All I really needed was the green. I was going to buy it myself, but... Because you get these. This is the paint. And it came in a pack of 16 from Amazon. They sell these individually at Walmart for like 85 cents. That's what I was going to do, but I hadn't had the time yet. And so... Paint's coming tomorrow, but I don't have green yet. I have green in my other... But apparently it's more of a watercolor, even though it didn't seem like watercolor. Because I always thought watercolor was like dried until you put the water on it and then it made the paint. These are just little, you know, little cups of paint I got at Walmart too. And they were already wet, so I didn't think it was watercolor. But So I'm going to try this this way. Now what I'm talking about is, this is actually Rob's idea. And there's a the hair. Oh, I can't get that hair off. But anyway, this is Rob's idea. I had leftover flowers and hearts that I had from Dollar Tree. They were like ornaments that you could decorate. They're wood. And so what we, the idea was you take the heart and you cut off the bottom pointy part. And you stick the flower behind it. And it looks like a flower in a heart-shaped pot. Kind of. So that's what I did. I actually made two of these so far. But... I'm going to show you what I did. I know, well, most of it. But yeah, what I did was marker instead. And that's why they came out like this. I don't have the best markers right now. I wish I did. <laughs> As if I need any more art supplies. But I have had my markers for a while. But anyway, I'll get a new marker sometime. I mean, they still kind of work. I actually went through them not that long ago and got rid of the very dead ones. So that's what I did last time and if you can tell it kind of sparkles I don't know if you can tell that on the bottom when it hits the light and the heart part there's a reason for that it was also a marker one time I was a Dollar Tree of course I used to have glitter markers and all of a sudden I'm at Dollar Tree and they're and I find glitter markers but they only came in two packs so it's a pink and a green and a blue and a purple. They also have an orange and a pink. I think it was the other one. No, it was an orange and a purple. It was a different orange. It was orange and a different purple that I didn't get that time. That I'll probably have to get. But these are really nice. And so that's what I used for the two hearts that I made for these. Or these glitter markers. I did one pink and one purple. So I still have a blue and a green that I haven't used yet. But these are really nice. And I got them at Dollar Tree. They're over with, like, the markers and the pens and pencils and stuff, usually. Yeah, but, I didn't see them last time I was at Dollar Tree. But, excuse the plane, it's about to be a really loud plane. But, yeah, so that's one of the things I'm going to be doing. I just thought it was, like, a really cool idea. And, again, it was Rob's idea. So, it looks like a flower in a flower pot. And, it can hang it anywhere and you can decorate it any way you want. Like I said, these I made with marker because the first time I painted the flower, I used... My paint that I got from Walmart that it turned out to be a little more watercolory, I guess. <laughs> so. so, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make green. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to make green paint for what I have right now. That's for later on because I'm going to keep doing that with the heart. And then I put, like, the sparklies around the heart, but that's a different decoration that I have down there. They have to dry first. Everything has to dry first. They do have ideas. For these. Now, the second thing, again, I find these at Dollar Tree as well. 
I've been wanting to go back and see if they have any other different ones, but when I did, when I first got them, they, I found a shell and a turtle. I already made them, one each, before. But then I was like, I gotta make this for the video. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, yeah, they have their summer stuff out now, and I always love their summer stuff at Dollar Tree for like their crafts, like these little wood things. And they also had whales, or was it dolphins? Dolphins, they had dolphins and starfish. But I was kind of hoping they would have mermaid tails, but I haven't been able to get back yet. And the last time I checked, they didn't. But that's when I found the shells the last time I went, so that's when I got the shells. But I have an idea for these, too. Now, I already made them once. What I did was, I had my pack over there, but they have to be completely dry before I can do that. Because the last part I do with these is, I turn them into a pin. You know, like a brooch. And I have a whole pack of those over there. And... Again, apologies for the plane. I have my window open right now because it's actually quite nice outside. But you're supposed to get storms later. But anyway, the other thing I have is plugged in down here. I finally have a hot glue gun again. You'll see that in a little bit. But like I said, my hot glue gun disappeared. I knew where it was when I was living in Florida. We get up here and it completely disappeared. And we hadn't had one for a while. So we finally got one again. So things will stick better. And I won't have to go searching for super glue. <laughs> Or my wood glue. My wood glue kind of sticks. Oh, what, what, my wood glue is actually over there. I haven't moved it back. But yeah. So, <laughs> that is what we are going to do in this video. Now, I'm going to... What am I going to do? I think I'm going to start with the pins because they're small. I'm going to show you how I paint them. And then those are going to dry. And then we'll get to the flower and the heart. And I'll show you how I do that. And I, like I already showed you, this is what the end result will look like. Hopefully... Even though this one is done with marker, I'm going to see what the paint is going to look like this time instead. Because I'm using acrylic paint instead of a more watercolory type paint. So, like I said again, I have to make the green myself. So, we're going to get started now. And I'm going to show you these little awesome handmade arts and crafts. Perfect for Mother's Day. Here we go. So, here we are. I got these right here. You can see them. It's kind of sideways, but it'll be fine. The scissors are for later. Now, what I'm going to do is i got to mix the paint. So, I'm actually going to be needing a white, but that's for this, and the pink and the purple for this, too. I'm, I have an idea. I want to see if I can do it. Oh, i got my darker purple down here. I kind of want to mix the light purple and the dark, darker purple for the seashell. I kind of want to make it look like an actual seashell, but like the bottom part is going to be kind of like diagonal. So, I kind of want it to make it seem like you can kind of see the inside a little bit, and that's what the purple and the pink is for. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have never opened this purple. I actually got this acrylic paint at Dollar Tree, so yeah. They do have acrylic paint at Dollar Tree. Anyway, I didn't realize I have never opened this paint. There we go. Well, all right. Whoops. Whoa. And I missed. All right. Okay, thank you, acrylic paint. <laughs> I missed just a tiny bit. Don't worry, it'll clean up. Glad I have that thing now. It's very nice and handy to have a paint palette. So, what I wanted to do was mix the darker purple and lighter purple. I don't really need this much purple, but it kind of came out fast, so. Alright. And then, there's going to be a tiny bit of pink. I don't need a lot. So, I guess I'm doing, well, I can put them all in there. But anyway, that's that. And then I need the white, of course, for the shell. I haven't mixed that yet. I'm getting ready. i got to mix the purples together, but... All right, so the brown and the blue and the yellow, I'm going to try and make green for the turtle. We'll see how it comes out. It should come out fine. Hoping I can mix it correctly. Whoa. <laughs> or I'll drop it because I'm a clutch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I need a little yellow. Okay. Now I will need a little bit of yellow separately from when I do the flower. But that that'll be in a second. I want to see how this turns out first. Oh, I think this won't take too long. And then a little bit of blue. See, it's perfect. Now I have to mix some colors together and we'll get to it. That is a lot of purple. I did not mean for all that purple to come out. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oops. Come on, finish mixing. <laughs> you 
Yeah, that does make green. I might need a little bit more yellow. Just because it's more on the blue side. But I think it's fine. Ooh. Alright. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to dip that in there because I still have to mix that up too. But I do want to add just a tiny bit more yellow to this green. It comes out kind of fast though. As you can see, it makes a lot of paint. <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> Here we go. All right. And now we have green. So what I'm going to do is, that is a lot. <laughs> Just kind of going to do that. Okay, there. That's actually a really good green for this. I'm going to go ahead and paint. I'm only using the green on the arms and legs of the turtle, but I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. It should come out. Pretty good. All right. Cause I have an idea for the turtle, but I have to make sure that it's an even layer so that it dries kind of fast before I do that part because I still have to do the shell. There we go. And that's really what I needed the green for. I will need the green for the leaves or the flower too. So I'm just gonna save that. That green turned out quite nicely. It's just a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the uh, brown on the shell. Oh, and this paintbrush really soaks up the water. Okay, there. Let's try that again. There we go. And then see. Trying not to mess with it, and then it's just got to dry before we get to the decoration part of it. Now, the very last step, we'll be putting the actual clip on it for to be a pin. There we go. It's actually a very nice looking turtle. I'm glad that blended so nicely. Alright, so the turtle is going to be drying right now. Now I'm going to try my idea for the shell. We'll see how that turns out. Sorry for my arm, but my, wa my water is over here. <laughs> and I'm trying to make sure that the... Alright. Now. Ooh, that's an awful lot of purple. <laughs> and it should be fine. Because that was a lot of dark in those... Yeah. Alright, the only problem is it makes a lot, so I'm going to kind of take a tiny bit off. Now, what I want to do is kind of make it into kind of a diagonal. Now, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'll try. Alright, so what you want to do is leave that little bottom part like that. Just kind of make sure that it's even. Oopsies. Alright, I can mix it with the white. It won't be too hard. Alright. Now, I'm going to Add the white in it, and we're gonna try and kind of mix it a little more down here. There. Mm. 
Now, not the best of this, but I think it might turn out looking kind of neat in the end. But it's got to dry. So. There. <laughs> kind of, sort of. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a tiny bit more purple. There on the end. It is on my finger. <laughs> Alright. So. I kind of dry out the paintbrushes a smidge. And then I'm just going to put a little too much white on there. that. Yeah. Now, that's when we add in the pink. It's kind of going to mix a little. Yeah. Yeah, now it's blending just kind of a little bit like that. Just like that. You kind of want the edges to stand out just a tad. <laughs> All right. Now, these are going to have to dry. <laughs> so, that's a lot of paint. I didn't mean to. <laughs> you can see that is a lot of paint. I did not mean to do that with the paint. But, um, her looks good. I like the way this is turning out. Um,. I tried to make it a little more diagonal, but it's a little hard. I don't know. But I think I might know. Alright.
I have an idea. This is taking just a tiny bit of time, but... I can do this. There we go. Oops. Yeah, like that. Now, that looks pretty neat. I feel like I need just a tiny bit of dark purple though, and I didn't mean to use all that purple, but I'm gonna need just a tiny bit. So, because it's like this, I'm just gonna kind of do like this. And just kind of make a line. Mixing it in. <laughs> like that. <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> now. There we go. So, that's gonna look kinda neat when it's dried. But I think. Yeah. Oops. Dang it. Did not mean to do that. Hair. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> yeah. 
Now it's actually looking pretty good. Okay, so those have to dry. Turtle is actually getting pretty close to being dry. So I'm going to leave those dry and then we're going to get started on the flowers. So I need regular yellow because I always put yellow in the center just because it looks right. If you know what I mean. But I think the other colors will be fine for the flower. I just need a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and paint the flower again. We'll see how it comes out. Like I said last time, because it was more watercolor, so that's probably why. But I do have to get some yellow, though. So. Ooh, my paint thing is... I don't only need a tiny smidge. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Crap, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, so, you take a little bit of yellow, and, like I already showed, see, that's my problem with the paintbrushes, <laughs> I try to keep it in line on the flower, but for some reason I always have the hardest time doing it with a paintbrush, but I'm trying, I think when it kind of blends a little bit it's not too bad, but, that was the other problem I had trying to do with paint. But I like this paint better than my other paint. But anyway. Alright, so you got your yellow in the center, right? Basically, you can make a flower any way you want to, but this is just what I'm doing. And I'll show you how I do the heart. Well, I'm just going to, like, you know, that's like any color. I have those. I'm going to do a color one. I'm probably either going to do the green. I think I. I've been thinking of the green. I'm going to do the green glitter on the heart. You just color it in. But the little point at the bottom is what you cut out. And that's why I have my scissors. So, what I'm going to do is use what I can of this green in here. So, yeah. Paint brushes are not easy to do on these. So, I, I found it easier to do it with marker. Just because of the way the paint brushes are, I could never get the things to stay straight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the angles, the edges. It's always a smidge or a, you know, thing on the edge that just kind of goes off the edges. But I'm just showing you what I do. This isn't perfect. I showed you my finished project right there. That one's my favorite. The way I did it that way is my favorite way that I found to do these flowers in particular. I just wanted to see if I just use this acrylic paint instead of my other paint how would it look instead and the color looks better but I still can't keep it in the lines very well <laughs> I don't really have any other green so I'm just kind of I'm just kind of doing this how I kind of did it <laughs> or what you could do I mean like I said I like my other one better but I'm just kind of going to do that with the green Okay, so we got that green. There is an outline, but I don't have another green to do that with. I might do that part with marker. I don't know if I even finish this one or not. Because <laughs> I already have my two. But I was just curious how this would turn out, so. Alright. So basically, you just kind of want to do whatever you want. I got the pink. I got the purple. So... Because I don't really have the most intricate paint brushes at the moment for like such small little things. <laughs> Details. I think that's the word I was looking for. But basically you're just decorating the flower any way you want to. <laughs> and yeah, I do like this paint better. I do like this paint better, but I'm just gonna. Oops. <laughs> and then you just kind of do whatever you want with this part. I'm just kind of showing you an idea. Because paint is not my favorite way of doing these flowers because the lines are just so intricate. That's why I went to marker. It just looks better. But. Basically, 
that's what you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> paint is just not it on the flowers, but that's basically your idea. Like I said, this one's my favorite way. <laughs> you saw the, uh, wherever the camera, I can't find the camera. <laughs> well, anyway, there we go. <laughs> See, <laughs> that's my favorite way of doing it. Marker just looks better on that particular flower, but what I wanted to show was how I did this part. The heart. There we go. The heart that you do is you just this little pointy part at the bottom as best you can. Pop. And there you go. That's how you make your flower base thing. So that's how I did that. Oh, kind of shredded a little, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's how you did that. And then there's basically, you know, color it however you want and then when you're done and dry, you just stick it together and you put the thing in it. But yeah, we're not going to go through all that because it's long enough. But like I said, this is the way I liked it. I feel that marker just works better on these flowers myself. But you can do it however you want to. That's how I did that, basically. So, what I wanted to do was there's one part because I was getting ready to use my hot glue gun but it's down there so I gotta grab it and there's one last part I want to do with the turtle I have these I want to see sorry because I think it just looks really cool like a jewel on the back of the turtle but I don't know what color I want to use because let's see I've got it for the purple that was last year I have I'm gonna decide what color would look good I don't have pink but I think Either I'm gonna do a green just because I think it would match. <laughs> See, <laughs> right in the center, <laughs> that would just look so cool. And then later on, you can add like little eyeballs if you want, but <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. So now I have to get my hot glue gun, but it's down here in the forest. It's gonna be just a second. <laughs> Let it reach because <laughs> I just need a tiny bit. Of hot glue. Ooh, that got warm. <laughs> anyway. Got the glue. Stick it here. <laughs> Alright. So here's the turtle. And you just want to put like a dab in the center. It's not working. <sighs> there it goes. So you just have like your dab of glue in the center there. Whoops. <laughs> A little sticky. Oh, come on. <laughs> and then stick. <laughs> and then when it's completely dry, <laughs> and then add the hot glue gun, you can add the backs to it. <laughs> And you can also add little eyes and whatnot. I mean, it's, it can be simple like that. It can be intricate. It can be whatever you want. I'm going to stick that down here. All right. Those are my ideas for other day crafts, like I said. So, my shell is drying. I actually like the way that turned out. kind of like my idea. <laughs> it took me a few tries, but I did get it to turn out kind of neat looking. So, and then you decorate it with glitter or whatnot later, just to make it pop. I like to make things pop. So, yeah, see my little turtle? That was my idea. And I have a few of these, so I think that's going to look pretty neat on a couple of them. But I like the green that I made. I'm glad that actually made green pretty well. So, there we go. So, I hope you enjoyed this Mother's Day craft video. I didn't quite like I guess it depends on your paintbrushes how that looks on a flower but with such intricate lines on it there's different ones but i'd like this one the best and i was like i'm gonna try it and it's my paint brushes it's not the paint it's the paint brushes <laughs> i need it i mean i have like a pack and i have quite a few but i tried to use the smallest one i had because i thought that would be great the best for the designs but apparently 
I mean, I mean to the lines, but paint just does not look good on these flowers. <laughs> Unless you have the right type of tube, uh, paintbrush. But yeah, that's how I said. See, you got this down here at the bottom. You just cut off the little pointy part of your heart, and then you can turn it into a flower in a flower pot like this. It's my favorite way of doing it, and I already have my tube. <laughs> and they can hang them wherever, and they're perfect gifts. <laughs> See? <laughs> Decorate it however you want. I just think that marker looks the best with these flowers. <laughs> that's just me. And then the glitter heart, which you can kind of tell. Anyway, so there's that. And then I got my turtle, which, like I said, I actually made some pretty good green paint. So that made me happy. So that's that. And now I have a way to use those. And then my little seashell, which actually came out looking pretty good so far. So I'm happy with those. Like I said, I had an idea of turning those into pins, and I already made two. It's just another batch that I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet, but I wanted to make something. It just popped in my head, and I was like, this would be great for Mother's Day, which is in two weeks from today, by the way, so you don't already know what you're going to do. You might want to get on that. Anyway, so these are just my ideas. I hope you like them. I hope you, you know, give it a try. They are great gifts, and for any kind of, any mother in your life, or if you just want to do it for fun, <laughs> but, like I said, this was Rob's idea for the flower pot. I never even thought about it, and then uh, I saw it, and I'm like, oh, it does, because I had these left over. This is, this heart was left over from Valentine's Day. The flower was from their spring, and I got all of this at Dollar Tree, but I don't think that they have the heart of the flowers anymore. <laughs> um, they might have some flowers. But I don't think they have hearts anymore. But you could probably find some hearts that are not like this particularly. <laughs> like just regular wooden hearts and stuff. But you can still make it. There's a lot of ways you can do that. So, yeah. And of course, the little things. My <laughs> first thought was, I saw those and I'm like, turtles. And they're the perfect size for a pin. You know, like a brooch. So that's what I did. So that's that for right now. I might save that. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this other flower over here. I just want to see how the paint would look on it. And I didn't have any other green at the moment. <laughs> so. They don't really stay in the lines very well. It's the paintbrush, like I said. So, yeah. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to click the little bell icon. So you know when the next video is coming out. And all of our social media will be linked in the description below. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And. Get creative. Have fun. There's a lot of things you can do. And thank you for watching.